Hello guys, welcome to Cyberman 443 official YouTube channel. In this video we're gonna show you how to install Flutter with Visual Studio Code. Okay, let's start. We'll go to Chrome. Uh, now we will search Visual Studio Code, okay? Here you can see code.visualstudio.com Open link in new tab and I will search Flutter Here you can see Flutter.de official website for Flutter Open link in new tab Okay, here is our Flutter.de website and there are some different projects like mobile apps, web apps, desktop app different projects that uh, the brought them here to show you this how and which type of location you can create okay uh, flatter is not just about mobile apps a lot of people think that yeah flatter is um, for mobile apps like uh, Android but it's not uh, it's for different devices like mobile app desktop app web app and not just for uh, Windows users or PC users, uh, but even for Macintosh users or Apple uh, users too. So we get start now. Here you can see we have different type of installation for Flutter, like Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chrome. We'll go by Windows. Just click on Windows and. Here you can see we have Windows installation, okay? Uh, and the best thing about Flutter is, uh, as you know, because Flutter is sponsored uh, by Google, so uh, anything you see here is created by Google developers, the best developers in the world, okay? Like, a part of the best developers, we can say the best developers, okay? And Flutter's documentation is one of the best documentations uh, about different code ed editors and even programming language, okay? Just come here and search for anything you want. Uh, you will find different uh, parts about installation, about development, about, you know, user interface, data and backend and much more, okay? Uh, here you can see get started and uh, for Windows installation, system requirements, you need uh, Windows 10 operating system or later or disk space has to be, does not include this space for ID tool, okay, uh, even out of code editor, code editor uh, disk space, you need 1.64 gigabyte just for Flutter and some tools you need, Windows PowerShell, get for Windows and much more, okay. Get the Flutter SDK, just click here and we will download it and here are some other things that you can do even you can install Flutter just by a command line like PowerShell, or Terminal, you know so as you see it's downloading but my internet is so shit and you see 20 hours and 70 hours okay I did download it okay because I don't want to waste your time so by my 19 hours <laughs> of downloading so the next step is about Android Studio and we use Android Studio not because of Android Studio's editor we use it just for Android Studio emulator okay there are some other ways to install emulator for your Visual Studio code but uh, they are somehow more tricky and hard but I will have some of those videos maybe two or three video uh, in my Flutter for all playlists and just you can go and uh, see to watch those videos to be able to install your own emulator about Visual Studio and not using Android Studio's emulator okay? but this for this project because we want to mm, take it short and easy so because of that I install Android Studio's emulator okay just we will uh, here you can see download and install Android Studio and here uh, is the site that you can download and receive you, okay? Uh, download and receive you, here I will accept the license agreements and click. Yeah, our and receive you is downloading, but I did download it, so it doesn't need it for now. Just pause or just even console, okay? 
And now we will go to Visual Studio. Here you can see download for Windows. You can download Visual Studio Code Editor for Windows. It's thanks for downloading this code. Download not started. And it will be downloaded okay, in the next second. If not, just direct download click and it will be done. Okay. As you see, now Visual Studio Code is downloading because we did click on direct download link, but mm, sometimes it works just automatically. You don't need direct click, okay? So we have Visual Studio Code because mm, I have it, I did download it and even I didn't install it, so we doesn't need to uh, download it again and we have flatter zip file too, okay? We'll close all these sites and we'll go to file folders here you can see in downloads folder we have compressed files and yeah here is our flatter app okay I will extract here this flatter for Windows folder okay okay until it's extracting we'll go to install Visual Studio we had installed it okay and here we have Visual Studio code if you don't know about Visual Studio Code, I have another video about Visual Studio Code. Just go to playlists and find Code Editor's playlist, okay? In that playlist, I will have different videos about different Code Editors uh, that you will go through all of them and learn about different Code Editors, okay? This is uh, Visual Studio Code and there are some of my codes from one of the projects, okay? Don't save. Here you can see. Okay, I will minimize it. Okay, now as you see, Flatter is extracting, and yeah, it's done. Okay, this is our Flatter extracted folder. Okay, we will Control C copy, or just I don't want to use hotkey shortcuts. Copy and this PC local disk C, and I will create a project. Uh, like programmer programming and click enter and control V or just right click and paste okay we'll paste it here and we will wait until it be copied as you see flatter folder has been copied successfully okay Next thing we will do is adding Flutter to our path file because now we did copy it, okay? Because it doesn't have any .txt installation, and uh, you know that when you install a .txt installation, the Windows will understand that yeah, the setup with this name uh, has been installed, and the user can go try it and just open it by terminal, or PowerShell, and much more, okay? Not terminal, CMD. That's a Flutter. We have to add a uh, flatter path file. We just will go to start menu, search path, here it gets in the system part. Here, environment variables, here, and five path. Just double click, here, create the new path, and here, I will go to flatter. Oh, 
go, just go, and go fly. But then it was flatly small. If you never I didn't show, I didn't go to all the things. Okay, so I'm gonna be back. I will search for flatter. We have to install the flatter extension first. You should see it to be able to find the flatter. As you see, water is essentially What's the next step? Next step is installing the dog. The dog is a backline to the flat engine. So, um, if you're new about water, I will use a special playlist for water. water. Um, we have different playlists for water, but you can find water, wood challenge, one flat mentals. Water So, uh, dog is here. I have to install it. Dog to install. Uh, and it's all. Uh, but, you know, just, I can install it. So, okay. Okay, because I have another week, I can install the water extension. So, water can be installed. So we installed dog and also ladder extension. Let's check again. Here you can see we installed ladder too. So let's go. Here we close it and now we have to know it's perfect. Okay. In the top left corner, we have to finish it here with our terminal and first uh, one new terminal selected and terminal. Okay, here we will check our flatter. Okay, flatter doctor will check this. Uh, has it been installed? Now we can see that uh, after we did run Flatter Doctor, it brought some hints for us, okay, about our Flatter. Like Flatter is installed, uh, Android Fulci is not installed, Chrome, we have Chrome, Android Studio is not installed, connection with connected devices or two to a total. Uh, here, uh, we have two available connected devices. One is uh, our Windows SDK Manager and one is Chrome OK? But we doesn't have Android SDK. So what we have to do? As I said, when I was downloading uh, Flutter, I said that we with the download Android Studio, we were about to download Android Studio. But I said that yes, I did download it, and so we will use Android Studio not for coding, like as a code editor. We use just for Android to use uh, Android emulator. So because of that, now it's time. Okay. Our next step is to install Android Stick. I had downloaded Android Studio here in my programs, and we will install Android Stick. Next, next, and here I want to change the location to. That because my uh, local disk C is uh, 100 gigabytes. So it's not too long. Okay, it's all that. And then I want to get to As you see, our Android Studio is installed. We will click next and finish our Android Studio. Okay. So this is the final software. As you see,
as you see, we are down for a second time in this whole campaign. Uh, we just click finish, and here you can see that it is installed, and now we have the next. We click on next button. Here we will. Uh, we can add some name to our device. Uh, or we can change it to something else. I don't want. And you can change the Android, but that's no yeah. Have that we have done. Okay, and uh, landscape for the trade and graphics. We will hit the finish button now. Here you can see this is our uh, Android emulator. Just we'll click on play that. As you guys see, our uh, Android is getting better at the launch successfully, and now we have our Android Now we can use it for visual settings, laptop, public. Uh, now we'll go to our visual settings, and here uh, our project is here, and I will use laptop.org. You can see, guys, that Android is in the default now. Here, it has been installed. And also, kind of device on the screen, not to be Windows phone, but to uh, Android. The next thing we have to do is to create the project in Flatter. Flatter to create my project. Now, uh, in the first minutes of the video, when I did the song Visual Studio Flutter, I said that here are my here is my Flutter. I said that we have to call break this to here, okay? And I said it's not so important. But now it is like all the Projects in that folder has to be okay. Uh, so uh, I wanted to create a project in this folder, so I brought this particular project in all the folder. It's your choice, like I want to create okay. like Saturn projects, and yeah. So next we'll get to the now. We did use flat doctor just now. Now flatter uh, my first version. And okay. here you can see uh, my first project we created and I can see. Yeah, here my first project. Okay, it's me. Our project has been created. I wanna see the face. We are in person. All the time. For the project, we We have some comments. Okay, see me. My first project. 
we can run on this project now cluster running and see that Our application is running now. Uh, we had some errors on uh, the way about the Gradle, and we didn't solve it. And I will put the video in the right uh, top side of this video, uh, a short video about uh, how to uh, solve an error that happened about the uh, Gradle. But it's not something uh, common. And Something it's not about visual your platter, it's about uh, your SDK related. So, as you see here, our application is run, then congratulations, it runs successfully. We're done. So, the first application here is going to see a simple application by Flatter itself, Flatter demo. And thanks, guys, for watching this video. Uh, for sponsoring our video, to subscribe our channel, uh, hit the bell button, and share it to friends. We'll see you next week.